Doctor Who Series 2 Our Predictions Doctor Who Series 2 Series 15 Season 41 will soon be upon us. But will the Time Lord finally have an epic rematch with the Plasmatons? These are our predictions for the upcoming adventure. At number one, Mrs. Flood, her identity revealed. This is not so much a prediction as a certainty. The identity of the mysterious Mrs. Flood will be revealed at some point in Doctor Who Series 2, as confirmed by the actor Anita Dobson. The actor recently said in a Radio Times interview that, at the end of the next series, you will know everything about Mrs. Flood. So there we are. Where we can speculate, however, is who exactly Mrs. Flood will turn out to be. To date, fans have only been given the tiniest of breadcrumbs. Mrs. Flood obviously knows what a TARDIS is, and she has intimate knowledge of the Doctor and his future. Indeed, the last series of Doctor Who left us with this ominous piece of dialogue. Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. Night, night. She is clearly someone powerful with the magical ability to break the fourth wall, although it's unlikely that Doctor Who Series 2 will address this particular quirk of the new era. She could be the Black Guardian, an evil, all-powerful being from the Tom Baker era, or even the White Guardian if she transpires to be a goodie. But then, the Timeless Children plot arc has left open the possibility of myriad alternative incarnations of the Doctor. Perhaps Mrs. Flood is a version of the Val or some other malevolent future regeneration. Or perhaps she's a doctor from a different timeline. A more obvious punt would be Missy, or maybe Susan if you want to throw a complete curveball. Alas, we'll probably have to wait until Doctor Who Series 2 airs until we get answers, although it's possible that Mrs. Flood will appear in the 2024 Christmas special. Even then, we may be confused. According to Dobson, even at the end of the next series, there's a line that she says, and I thought, that's a little bit odd for her to say that at this point. So it should give us plenty to write about, if nothing else. And number two, the Daleks. Will Doctor Who Series 2 finally see the return of the Metal Mutants from Scarrow? Well, by the time Doctor Who Series 2 comes around, the Daleks will have been absent from our screens for nearly three years, so the time will be ripe for a repeat encounter. Plus, Nkuti Gatwa's Doctor hasn't actually met the dreaded Daleks as yet, and it's almost a rite of passage for any Time Lord to do battle with the series' iconic villains. So it's possible that they will put in an appearance at some point. But whenever the Daleks appear, it will be interesting to see how they're reintroduced, because for many viewers watching on Disney+, Plus, this will be the first time they've ever seen the Metal Mutants. So will Doctor Who Series 2 present us with some kind of origin story, introducing them to a whole new audience? And will the new Davros without his Dalek base, also return to our screens. Again, it can't be ruled out. How would you feel about the Daleks making an appearance in Doctor Who Series 2? Is the time right for them to return to our screens? And at number three, some kind of crossover with the war between the land and the sea. As you probably know, Doctor Who fans have a brand new spin-off to look forward to in 2025. The war between the land and the sea will see Unit go up against the sea-dwelling reptilians from the classic era, and it's possible possible that this battle will interlink with the events of Doctor Who Series 2. After all, this happened many times during the original Russell T. Davies era, most famously in The Stolen Earth, where Doctor Who, Torchwood, and the Sarah Jane adventures all crossed paths. Certainly, it would be odd if the Doctor didn't encounter Unit at some point in Doctor Who Series 2, given how prominently they featured in the last series. But whether this would tie in with the war between the land and the sea or not would be up to Russell T. We could even get a full blown sea devil story for Nshuti Gatwa if the production team could find a way of doing it without essentially repeating the events of the spin-off. Of course, they could go in a completely different direction and have Nshuti Gatwa appear in the war between the land and the sea. Peter Capaldi had a cameo in class after all. 4. 
tension between Belinda and Ruby. Doctor Who Series 2 will see the arrival of a new companion in the shape of Belinda Chandra, played by Varada Sethu. The previous companion, Ruby Sunday, departed at the end of Series 1, and Sethu is set to make her debut at some point in Doctor Who Series 2, most probably in the first episode. But we also know that Ruby Sunday will be returning as well. But how will she feel when she discovers that there is a new companion traveling in the TARDIS? And what will the dynamic between these two characters be like? Well, if history is anything to go by, there's liable to be fireworks. When Rose Tyler met Sarah Jane Smith in 2006, a school reunion, it was not a pretty situation, at least not in the beginning. Rose was intensely jealous of Sarah and was none too happy about her attempts to rekindle her relationship with the Doctor. And if there's one thing Russell T. Davies writes well, it's character. So there is great potential for friction between Belinda and Ruby. At the same time, the companions could go in the opposite direction and become something of a team, mirroring the relationship between Donna Noble and Martha Jones when they traveled in the TARDIS. Either way, it's going to be interesting. Have your popcorn ready. So there we are. Just some predictions for Doctor Who Series 2, scheduled to air in 2025. What would you like to happen in the next season? And do you think there will be some kind of crossover with the upcoming spin-off? Let us know in the comments below. Take care.